when I cast out devils. The Lord says, But if I cast out demons by the finger of God, then the reign of God has come upon you. This text says exactly what I always tell you. What is the finger of God? What is the devil and his casting out? And what is the kingdom of God which comes upon you? What does the finger represent anyway? The finger represents the small deeds, as the hand represents the great deeds. The devil is the world, which should disappear from the people by the small deeds of love. The kingdom of God, which is coming to you, is the love as the light of grace and the associated gift of eternal life. So, the finger of God represents my caring deeds of love towards you, people, and the gifts that I give you come from my finger. Because if I would say, I cast out the devils with my hand, that would mean as much as, I send a general judgment upon you as it was the case in the days of Noah. But with my finger, I only drive the world out of you, so you don't receive a judgment, but rather only a light of grace. With my finger, I cast the world out of you, also means as much as, I am looking at those with a better spirit, who are still living in worldly distress. Those I touch with my finger, so that they'll receive my inner light of grace. In this light of grace, I show you what you have to do, and how easy it is to achieve eternal life, and capture the kingdom of God, as it comes to you with this light of grace. And that means as much as, that I demand from you only a little deed. So, no deed of the hand, but only of a finger, which consists in nothing more than to love me more than the world, and that you should do good deeds for your brothers and sisters, according to your strength. If I would demand a great deed from you, you would have to do the same as the apostles once had to do. Namely, to leave everything in the world, and at the end, even taste the death on the cross. So, with just one finger, I cast the world out of you, and you think this is a lot already. What would you say then, if I were to lift up my hand? How much do I exempt you from? And yet you still think it is a lot what I'm asking of you. I say unto you, do not put a lot of effort into the world, for she is not worth it. Why do you cram your heads with all kinds of troublesome junk of the world, when I offer and give you the gold of life in great abundance? Let the world go and receive me with your heart. What would you want to say to a man who has a fruit tree in his garden? The fruit of this tree was ripe, and the man could have easily reached it with only a little stretching of his arm, and if touched with a finger, it would have been in his hand. What did the foolish man do in order to reach this fruit more conveniently, and to show the great value he placed on this ripe fruit? He was digging a foundation and raised a stepping altar in order to comfortably reach the ripe fruit. The altar was made ready after several weeks, but in the meantime, the fruit on the tree started to rot, and so, after finishing his great and foolish effort, he received instead of fresh and living fruit from the tree, only a rotten and therefore dead fruit. All those resemble this foolish man, who are looking for the kingdom of truth in the great learnedness, which could so easily be achieved in a living manner, with only a small elevation of the heart to me. Such scholars are digging foundation after foundation, and build out of them troublesome and expensive stepping altars. And once they are finished with the work, they achieve nothing but a dead and rotten fruit for all their work and effort, which has no value for the world and even less for the spirit. Not for the world, because it says, why such expenses and so much trouble for such low percentages? And even less for the spirit, because he speaks from his life sphere. 
I cannot use anything rotting or dead. The ripe fruit is the very well-ordered spirit within man. Why so much trouble to make the ripe one free? What each and every one can achieve with only a little effort, the effort of a finger? Why whole libraries in the head, when the only necessary thing is, love God above all and your neighbor as yourself? I did not need armed armies to cast out the devils, but rather only one finger, which is my most serious will to love. Do the same, be willing to love and use the good advice which I gave you, and you will also get rid of the whole world with the lightest effort, and my kingdom will surely come to you in a living manner. Amen.